Mm, I don't know, man. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the Switch or not. I mean, I kind of want it, but I kind of don't at the same time. Nah, freak that junk sucker. What the heck you need a Switch for? It ain't doing 4K, though. It ain't 60 frames per second, though. <laughs> Suckers can't even reach 60 frames per second on Mario. Are you kidding me, my dude? But what about that price, though, fam? Like, if that junk 250 I don't know, man. So I'm currently uh, looking at some information, looking at different articles about uh, this upcoming Nintendo Switch event. Uh, Switch game. Um, not sure what that was. I'm just trying to come up with some type of hand signal to let suckers know that I'm a part of the Switch game. <laughs> you know, to let people know that I support the Nintendo Switch, you know, but uh so yeah, the uh Nintendo Switch um the event is going to take place starting tomorrow and going into Friday. I think it starts tomorrow in Tokyo at 11 p.m. Eastern time, but then it goes into January 13th on Friday. So I'm not sure if it's going to be two different things but it says it starts tomorrow but then it says it will kick off at january 13th like it, it says in a press release nintendo said the show will be live streamed live from tokyo on january 13th called the nintendo switch presentation it will kick off at 11 p.m eastern time january 12th so, <laughs> I, I guess it starts on January 12th, but something is on the 13th as well. I don't know, but, um, yeah, I'm, um, I can't say I'm excited about, <laughs> about the Nintendo Switch. I'm more intrigued than anything, you know? You know, I, I, I think it's about that time for Nintendo to really step up to the plate and be like, hey, Sony, Microsoft. We here, suckers, and we are still to be highly respected in this gaming industry. You know, just, you know, just remind suckers of who they are. You know, Nintendo, I'd say, you know, since the GameCube really has been kind of not a afterthought, but just not what they used to be. Even despite how successful the Wii was, you know, um, they're just not really looked at as like, direct competition when it comes to xbox and you know uh playstation you know but um with that event you know that's coming i am going to tune into it um i thought you know the reveal trailer that they had for the switch i personally liked it i know some people didn't like it, it was like the what the freak am I going to go to a basketball court for to play NBA 2K? <laughs> you know, so, yeah, I already know, like, some people are already not a fan of the Switch. Um, I'm intrigued by it. That's all I could say, you know, uh, right now. Definitely uh, am intrigued by it. Really excited to see, you know, what they have to show off at this event. What can we expect at this event? You know, um, one thing... I want to see the specs of this thing. I want to see the features that this thing is going to have. We all know that it's probably not going to be as strong as a PS4 Pro. Not going to be as strong as an Xbox Scorpio. I'm at least hoping the Switch is as powerful as an original PS4. Like, as as an original Xbox One. At least, bro. Like, again, like, graphics are not the in all be all with games and you know clearly nintendo thinks that <laughs> you know but it's 2017 fam like you gotta <laughs> you gotta at least have your games be running at full 1080p bro 60 frames per second would be ideal but even if it's 30 fps at least have all your games be running 1080p bro so if it could be at least as strong as a ps4 you know as an original ps4 or xbox scorpio i'd be pretty i guess pleased with that you know um because i don't think it's going to be you know doing no 4k stuff you know by no means necessary so I think they're going to show, you know, the specs of this thing, of course, you know, the features that it's going to have with it and stuff like that. The launch lineup of games that uh, this thing is going to have is 
extremely important in my opinion. Because if y'all don't remember when that Wii U first, <laughs> when the Wii U first came out, I think the best game it had, you know, in its uh, launch lineup was Zombie U. <laughs> Just let that sink in for a second, bro. That was the best game it had in his launch lineup. Um, hopefully their lineup of games is better because I think I I think when the Wii U first came out, that was one of its biggest issues. Like it didn't really have any like you know must play games, you know, and not even with the Wii U. That was. A big issue with the PS3. PS3 lacked games when that junk first came out. Like, you need... You don't need, like, a really strong lineup of games, but you need something to, you know, have people be like, okay, if I purchase this, you know, if I purchase the uh, Switch, I can, you know, look forward to playing this or this, you know. You, you need at least two or three games in the lineup to offer to people. Not something just like, here, we give you zombie <laughs> You need something else, bro. The last generation to where I owned all three consoles was PS2, Xbox, GameCube. You know why? All three of those consoles was freaking lit. <laughs> you know, but it hasn't been that way since then, in my opinion. But you best believe if Nintendo comes with, with the games, if they come with the features, if they finally try to put some type of effort into their online service, <laughs> you know, if they do all that, Oh, you best to believe I'll be right back on that Nintendo train and I'll be choo-chooing with them, you know. But N Nintendo has been out of the loop, you know, as far as, you know, what is the standard, you know, in games, you know, for a while now. You know, they're, they tend to be stuck in their, you know, old school ways and, you know, that could be a good thing in some cases, but in most cases, it's kind of, you know, a bad thing, you know, for them. And I think that's why they're in the position that they're in, you know. But, um, yeah, so if they can have a good, a good launch lineup of games and stop relying so heavily on the same IPs. And, again, I've said this. Nintendo does what Microsoft, you know, tends to do and just, like, rely on their same you know ips that get sales for them you know microsoft tends to rely on halo and gears and fours and stuff like that nintendo tends to rely on mario zelda donkey kong you know freaking kirby <laughs> you know they they just have a little bit more to work with than microsoft but they still rely on the same stuff like generation after generation so hopefully they can offer you know, different games to a different demographic this time around. I think that's very important, you know. So, um, but what's most important is that price. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how much this truck is going to cost, bro, but the price of the Nintendo Switch, I've been hearing people say 250 I've been hearing people say 300 350 I think the highest I've seen was 400 I'm like... <laughs> so, I ain't about to buy no Nintendo Switch for four hundred dollars. If I if I can get a PS4 Pro for four hundred, the freak I'ma buy a Switch for, you know. So I definitely think two fifty is is that is that sweet spot. I think to like two fifty, you could get people that might not even really be excited for the Switch. Be like, heck, I'll blow two fifty, <laughs> you know. So I definitely think. 250 is the sweet spot definitely if this junk is 250 hey <laughs> i ain't saying i'm gonna get this junk day one but if this junk is 250 i mean hey <laughs> you know it, it definitely will have me question bro will i get the switch day one i think 300 you know i don't think 300 is pushing it. i think once you get to 350 that's when you're starting to kind of Hold on now. <laughs> I think that's when they're kind of pushing it. So I think like 250 to 300 is the sweet spot. Mainly 250, you know, but um, what do you guys think, you know, the price of the Switch should be? Because again, with Nintendo, and one thing I've always gave them credit for is they always, they don't just succumb to, 
you know, what Sony and Microsoft is doing. Nintendo is always going to put their own flavor, you know, on whatever it is that they're doing. And I've always respected them for that. So, yeah, like, the Switch is going to be a home console, but also, you know, an on-the-go type deal to where if you have something, to where if you have something to do, bam, you can, you know, play it on your freaking tablet and uh, stuff like that, you know? So, it's definitely... um I just think it's I, I I I just respect Nintendo for always trying to do something different because we're like um even if you don't really play games on the go like that mobile gaming is getting bigger by the day bro and like bigger and bigger and more popular by the day a lot of people are seeing you know how the success of Pokemon Go was and seeing stuff like that like if you could have a fire game on, on on a mobile device, like mobile gaming is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think Nintendo realizes that. So to have, you know, a uh, at-home console that is also a mobile console, I think that's actually pretty cool to have. Could they execute it well? I don't know. But this could be like, you know, almost like... Uh, like a second edition to like the Nintendo 3DS or something like that. I just don't know what to expect. <laughs> like from Nintendo, like you just don't really always know what to expect from them because they always do things in their own way and stuff like that. I hope the troll himself, Reggie, is there on stage, which, which most likely he is going to be there on stage. I, I, I personally think they just need to get straight into all of the details that people want to know. The specs, the features, launch lineup, price. If you give all that, you know, and answer all of the questions that people still have, I think that's going to, you know, uh, you know, determine the success of the Switch when it first, you know, uh, launches, I think, in freaking March. So, you know, uh, definitely we'll be tuning into this event. Um, probably I'll try to stream it, too. Don't hold me to that, but I probably will try to stream it, stream it too. So if y'all want to come through it and uh, laugh with me, you know, while watching this event, feel free, you know. But let me, but let me, uh, let me know what you guys think, you know, of uh, this upcoming Nintendo Switch event. Do you even care about the Nintendo Switch? Leave that all down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I greatly appreciate it. if you rate the video, my brothers and sisters. Doesn't have to be a thumbs up. It could be a thumbs down, but what I do ask every brother and every sweet, sweet sister is to just rate the video, my brothers and sisters. Switch gang. Uh, <laughs> I, I got to come up with some type of new hand signal for the for the Switch gang. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll think on that one, <laughs> but I'll catch up on next year, all right? Peace out.